Hi, this is Ken Gill with the Oregonian, and here are the three things I'll be watching this week in college football. First, Oregon-Stanford. It's been a Titanic the last few years. It's always had implications on what team will advance where in the top echelon bowl games. It's got a special significance this year because the Ducks have inside position to the college football playoff. I still think Stanford's a big hurdle. Yeah, the Stanford, the Cardinal has lost three games this year, but I think the Cardinal figured out some things on offense last week against Oregon State. Um, Coach David Shaw spread the field. He utilized his playmakers more. Barry Sanders Jr., who's a outside the tackles guy, uh, st stopped trying to run inside the tackles. Um, Ty Montgomery, big time playmaker for Stanford, got the ball in places he could do something with it. Kevin Hogan, a very athletic quarterback, not a particularly good pocket passer, got the ball on the perimeter where he had run pass options. He's a very effective runner. I think Stanford's offense could caused Oregon's defense some problems. Um, Stanford's defense is very good, so that's going to be a strength versus strength part of the game, Oregon's offense versus Stanford's defense. I expect it to be very close. I expect it to go down the wire. I think it'll be a very good TV game. It's a must-win game for Oregon if the Ducks plan to advance to the college football playoff. Oregon State-Cal, this is a must-win game for Oregon State, too, though for different reasons. The Beavers have lost two straight. They're four and three. They're one and eight in their last nine Pac-12 games. Cal, on paper, would look to be a winnable opponent or a beatable opponent. Um, now, whether the Beavers can close the deal remains to be seen. Cal will spread Oregon State out the way Stanford did. Oregon State's defense is going to have to make play, uh, make tackles, and make plays in space. That was a problem for the the Beavers last week. Uh, Oregon State's offense. It's been a while since we've seen the Sean Mannion that, that really looked good last year. Granted, he doesn't have the same sort of receiving core. Brandon Cooks is in the NFL now, but uh, something's got to break loose here if, if the Beavers are going to uh, get out of their, their doldrums. Um, fan base is in an uproar. A lot of fire breathers uh, all over Mike Riley. Uh, I think that's unfair and inaccurate. I think Mike Riley's a very good coach. Um, but it's time for him to to produce results, and this is a game where uh, the Beavers should win. I was a little surprised that ESPN.com panel of experts unanimously picked Cal to, to beat the Beavers in Research Stadium. If that happens, this season really goes south on Oregon State. Uh, the third thing I'll be watching, uh, Arizona State, Utah, and Tempe. Uh, both of these teams, uh, a little bit surprising to me that, that they're in this position, both nationally ranked, both harboring their own college football playoff hopes, the loser uh, probably is eliminated from the college football playoff picture, though certainly not from the Pac-12 title picture. The Pac-12 South is that way. There's, they could beat up on each other. You could see a, a two-loss or maybe, you know, given the right combination of circumstances, a three-loss team in the in the Pac-12 title game out of the South. Uh, Utah will be without playmaking receiver Drez Anderson, lost for the season with a knee injury. I think this is a blow. But really, uh, Utah's defense and and Running game have been carrying them. Devontae Booker is an excellent back. Uh, Arizona State's offense is very good. Tyler Kelly is back. Uh, the quarterback who's was hurt for a good chunk of the season is a dual threat guy. Uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of problems the Sun Devils can cause for Utah's defense. It's again a game I expect will be very entertaining. And like I said, it will have a huge impact on uh, what happens in the Pac-12 South. Certainly, the, the loser uh, loses any hope of the playoffs. This is Ken Go with the Oregonian, and those are the three things I'll be watching this week in college football.